ICE 8 Accounting Policies, Changes in Accounting Estimates and Errors, Video 4. An error can occur when applying any accounting standard. For example, an error could have occurred when you applied I-16 or I-40 or I-36. The method we suggest you follow when a question deals with a prior period error is to first go and find out what was done. What did the entity do? Incorrectly, but how did they account for that specific item? Usually you have to read the question carefully to try and understand what was done. Next, you need to know your accounting standards really well to know what should have been done. What is the correct accounting treatment in terms of IFRS? There's a difference between what was done and what should have been done. Accounting for that difference means you are correcting the, the error. And we usually do that by preparing correcting journals. Now let's have a look at an example. An entity with a 31 December reporting date expensed a significant amount of 100,000 Rand that was incurred on 1 January 2018. During the current reporting period, which is 2020, it was detected that the significant amount that was expensed in 2018 should have been capitalized to an asset. And that asset had a remaining useful life of 10 years in 2018. So the first thing we need to do is to determine what was done? Well, in 2018, a journal was done to say debit other expenses, credit bank 100,000. This we saw from the given information. The next step is to determine what should have been done. And they also told us that in the given information. They said it should have been capitalized to an asset. They don't say which asset specifically. But because they talk about a remaining useful life, we can assume it's some sort of property, plant and equipment. So what should have been done is debit asset, credit bank. There's a difference. It should not have been an expense. It should have been an asset. The bank amount is not a problem and bank usually is not an issue because we do monthly bank reconciliations. And we will detect an error in bank much sooner. The problem lies between the other expense and the asset. Furthermore, what we also should have done is accounted for depreciation on the asset. The asset had a remaining use life of 10 years, so you would have depreciated this additional amount that was capitalized over the remaining use life of 10 years. Further, we should also have had depreciation for our comparative period, 2019 debit depreciation, credit accumulated depreciation. Of course, we will also need depreciation in 2020, but we are still busy with 2020. It's our current period. So we can just post that journal. We can just fix it while we are busy with the current year. So if we have a look at the timeline, 2020 is our current year. Our comparative year is 2019, and the error occurred even before that. The error occurred in 2018. What are the differences that we need to account for? How do we need to correct for this error? Well, first of all, we need to take the amount of 100,000 out of the other expense and put it against an asset. We also need to account for depreciation. The same for 2019. We need to account for depreciation in 2019. Remember, we are dealing with prior period errors. We need to fix them retrospectively, going back as far as possible. If we talk about these journal entries and about correcting journals, there are two concepts we need to talk about and we shouldn't confuse the two. The first is the financial statements. We are busy with the 2020 year. The 2020 year will also show comparative information. That information needs to be corrected. The financial statements that we issue in 2020 have to now be correct. We need to go backwards, retrospectively, as far as possible and fix the error. Every single line item that is affected needs to be changed. The financial statements we issue in the current year have to be correct. 
The second concept we have to talk about is the accounting system. We are writing, adjusting, correcting journals. Where can we post these journals? We are busy with the current year. Can we post them in the current year accounting system? Or can we maybe open our accounting system of previous years and go and post the journals in the year we want to fix them, in 2018, in 2019? Now, usually accounting software closes off at the end of one year and does a roll forward. And we can't always go back and open the previous years on the accounting system that have already rolled forward. So if we cannot go back on the accounting system to change 2018 in the 2018 accounting system and to change 2019 in the 2019 accounting system, does that mean we can just ignore the error? We don't need to correct it because we can't go back because the accounting system doesn't allow. No. Our financial statements have to be corrected. Even if your accounting system only accepts journals in the current year, then you post the journals in the current year and the accounting system catches up again to what we fixed in the financial statements. But in your financial statements, your comparative year needs to be correct. Your opening balance of your comparative year needs to be correct. Remember, we do now see the opening balance of the comparative year because your statement of financial position gets a third column and your statement of changes in equity looks different. And then we need to disclose the effect of every single line item. Did it increase? Did it decrease when you corrected the error? You have to do this even if you cannot post the journals in that previous accounting system. Your financial statements have to change. So let's say for this example, we can open the accounting system of 2019. So we are able to post journals in the accounting system of the prior year. We can, however, not open the accounting system of 2018, where the error actually occurred the first time. We are not able to post the correcting journals in 2018. So we want to write correcting journals. We want to fix the error. We can fix the comparative year. We can post the journal in 2019. Debit depreciation, credit accumulated depreciation. We can fix the specific period. We cannot do that in 2018. So what we will need to do is to change the opening balance of our comparative year with the effect of the error of the previous year. This is really important. We call this the cumulative effect. So even if the error had happened in 2017 or 2016 or 2015, you would take all the previous years cumulatively together. What is the effect of fixing that error on the opening balance of our comparative year? You will post the journal to fix the opening balance with the cumulative effect. Remember that that opening balance will now be in your financial statements because your statement of financial position gets a third column and you also show it in your statement of changes in equity. So when we post these journals in the 2019 accounting system because that is the earliest period where we can post something in the accounting system, we would like to change opening balances. Now, if we look at the correcting journal, an asset is a balance, so that's not a problem. But other expenses, that is not a balance. Depreciation, that is not a balance. Accumulated depreciation, that is a balance again. 
So our other expenses and our depreciation is a problem because we want to fix opening balances. These are nominal items. They do not have an opening balance. So we need to think about what balance is affected through other expenses. What balance is affected through depreciation? So you will not be able to say credit other expenses and you will not be able to say debit depreciation. You need to change the balance that was affected. What balance is affected through other expenses? Retained earnings. What balance is affected through depreciation? Retained earnings. So our correcting journals change because we are only able to post them in the accounting system of 2019. We fix the opening balance of our 2019 accounting system. And like any accounting system, it will then pull through going forward and all the balances will be correct.